Hello, good afternoon. This is Theo Harvey once again with your two minute telehealth update. Once again, I utilize uh, the, what's going on in the news to kind of guide what we talk about on a week by week basis. One of the few things that we've seen is a lot of uh, primary care docs are, are looking for uh, assistance due to what's happening with the pandemic. And so what we're seeing in this article kind of highlights that is basically, you know, um, a lot of doctors are seeing that um, the financial crunch is, is, is real. And more importantly, they're seeing issues with telehealth just, you know, not being enough, right? Um, they're just not making enough money. And if they utilize telehealth services, you know, they're still seeing, um, they're not seeing the same number of, of volume of patients as they normally had before, previously, right? Um, so these are some of the things that um, we want to discuss a little bit today. Uh, so what are some other areas that you can do beyond just video telehealth to help your practice? And one of the things we want to talk about today are the remote remote patient monitoring. So what if you're not familiar with it, basically these are codes that came out roughly about two years ago that allow you to get compensated for looking at patient data. Uh, these three codes are here highlighted here. The first one, 9453, is focused on uh, initial setup with the patient. Code 99454 is around uh, getting data from blood pressure, pulse oximetries, respiratory flow rates. And then the final codes, the 9457 and 9458, are codes that you can bill for the time that you spend with the patient remotely via phone call or video telehealth that you can also bill by looking at the data. And then the side note there for specialists, uh, there is a unique code that's very similar to what they call chronic care management. This allows you to see what's happening with the patient and bill for that as well. As you can see, these codes are very comprehensive and a lot of these codes pay on a month by month basis. So the workflow around that is basically understanding, you know, the patient Medicare at this point, there are discussions around private insurers getting to the, to the mix to help monitor patients, especially ones that are coming off quarantine for COVID-19, having consent verbal or written. You need to have a big ability to deploy devices at scale and put in the hands of patients. And then finally, analysis and billing is really one and the same to understand what you're looking at, to kind of write your notes that speak to the patients, but also to bill on a consistent and monthly basis. One of the unique things that's coming out of this is um, CMS has said that RPM services can now be furnished to not just established patients, but the new patients. So if you're looking to provide teleservices outside of your existing geographic out of your geographic region, you'll be able to now offer your RPM services in addition. As always, I have these, show, these notes here that you can have the latest information. But thank you for your time today and look for another two-minute telehealth coming soon. Take care.